Launch conductor Scott Bonnet reports a green board. Everyone is go. T minus six, five, four, three, two, engine start, one. And liftoff of Delta II and NOAA's Joint Polar Satellite System One, making the U.S. a more weather ready nation. The Delta II is proceeding on a flight azimuth of 196 degrees, just to the west of 180 degrees south. Looking good. Also seeing a good symmetric burn across all six groundlet solids. We're listening now to the voice of Patrick flight. Moore, ULA flight commentator. 33 seconds into flight, the Delta II rocket will reach Mach 1, breaking now the speed of sound. 30 seconds. Chamber pressure on main engine and veneer engines continue to look good. Now passing Mach 1, Delta II is now supersonic. At 49 seconds, Delta and II encounters to see a very symmetric burn across all six maximum aerodynamic solid. pressure or max Q. This is the point where the mechanical stress in the rocket now reaches its peak. 48 seconds, max Q, maximum dynamic pressure. The six ground-lit solid and rocket motors will burn out about 64 seconds into flight. Tail off. The three air-lit motors will ignite a second and a half later. And we have burnout and ignition of the three air-lit solids. Approaching the de jettison of the Delta II graphite epoxy solid rocket good. motors in Gas three sequences of three. The first three will fall away one minute, 26 seconds into flight, followed a second later by the next three. Now one minute, 25 seconds into flight. And we have good jettison of all six groundlet solids. The final three air-lit motors will continue to burn until they are jettisoned two minutes, 11 seconds into flight. Chamber pressure on the main engine, both veneer engines continuing to remain very stable. Gas generator fuel and LOX injector pressure is also looking very good. And we're standing by for the jettison minutes. of the final three solid rocket motors. The chamber pressure is on the airlit solids tailing off in prep preparation for burnout. And we have burnout of the airlit solids and good jettison of all three airlit solids. And the booster LOX tank press valve has been opened. LOX tank ullage pressure response looks good. Two minutes, 30 seconds into the flight of Delta. And main engine and veneer engine chamber pressures continue to remain very stable. Once again, listening to Patrick Moore, United Launch Alliance flight commentator. Now two minutes, 50 seconds into flight, now passing Mach 10. The next major milestone is main engine cutoff, or MECO. The first stage RS-27A main engine and will cut off. three minutes into flight. Engine operating parameters on main engine and both veneer engines continue to look good. MECO is scheduled for four minutes, 20 seconds after liftoff. That will be followed. And it's 20 seconds into flight. Just one minute remaining now until main engine cutoff. And vehicle body rates have smoothed out nicely now as the vehicle continues to climb through the upper atmosphere. Nine seconds after MECO, we'll have separation of the first and second stages of the Delta. Into flight. Main engine chamber pressure looks good. Both veneer engine chamber pressures continue to look good. Gas generator fuel and LOX injector pressures remain very stable. Uh, vehicle body rates also looking very good. Now at four minutes into flight, about 20 seconds remaining until main engine cutoff. Uh, following main engine cutoff, the veneer engines will continue to burn for a few additional seconds to maintain attitude control. Uh, leading up to stage separation. Standing by for main engine cutoff momentarily. And we have MECO, main engine cutoff. And VECO, veneer engine cutoff. And we have good indication of stage separation, standing by for stage two ignition. The first and second stage that Delta II have separated. Stage chamber pressure looks good. And ignition of the second stage. And we have a good indication of fairing jettison.